Hi guys, so today we're going to MGK's motherfucking coffee shop in Cleveland. It's called the 27 Club and I am super fucking excited. I cannot wait to go. I already know what I'm gonna order. I'm super hype. I think it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully I'll be able to like vlog or maybe this will be a mukbang taste test sort of situation. I don't really know but hopefully I get ballsy and I just bring my camera so let's have a good ass time. Great birthday, Olivia! I did, thanks. My lashes was probably popping off in that, but look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What's she talking about? Huh? It's recording. Yeah. So it's been several hours later, but I wanted to kind of wrap up this video. This was a lot of fun. I had a really amazing time with my friend Mackenzie. Thank you so much for going along with me and thank you for spoiling me for my birthday. And I think it was a really good idea to go on a weekday. We did go on a Wednesday and there was really little little wait um there was maybe four people in line when we got there so we waited maybe 15 minutes not even outside i wish we were able to sit in the awesome little cubicles that were in the wall but they were all taken when we got in um there was a point in time though where they were all available but they quickly filled up uh <laughs> shortly after so we didn't get to sit in the cool cubicles i'm hoping that maybe next time we go because i definitely want to go back We'll be able to sit in those and maybe get some cute pictures. It's a really nice, easy, calm environment. Very cute, very simple. They have a TV. Uh, they were playing Pirates of the Caribbean for some reason while we were in there. I was kind of disappointed in the bathroom. I mean, I get that it's a bathroom. Um, there was two stalls, so I'm happy it wasn't just like a one uh, bathroom. The wall was pink, but I wish they would have put some artwork up, maybe some like uh, black and white photos like they had on the furniture of some celebrities and stuff. The food was amazing. The drinks were so, so good. I wanted to quickly kind of review them for you. So the first thing that I got was the cold brew 
and I am a huge, 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 huge fan of Starbucks cold brew. I love the salted caramel cold brew. It is my absolute favorite, um, but this one wasn't really flavored or anything. It was just their signature cold brew. Uh, I was asked if I wanted vanilla and then cream and sugar. Didn't have any cold foam. It was just like plain simple cold brew. It was good. It just tasted like standard coffee to me, like an iced coffee though. Um, it didn't really do anything too much extra for me. The vanilla wasn't strong at all if they even did actually put vanilla in it. I didn't taste any vanilla. It just tasted kind of like a standard iced coffee even. It was okay. I don't know if I would necessarily order it again. If I had to rate it, I'd probably give it like maybe a three and a half out of five. The next drink that I got was the um, pink latte. This one's very iconic. I feel like it's the standard, like it's the signature drink for the coffee shop and everybody gets it there. I had seen it on like Instagram and stuff and I was always intrigued by it because it was pink obviously and I really did like the pink uh, coffee that came out at Dunkin Donuts for Valentine's Day recently that was smack but this was a whole nother level like this was a whole nother experience so this one had I think it was like sh like pink milk or something in it I'm, I don't really remember it did have a sugar rim but I didn't really feel comfortable like trying that part of it. I feel like that'd be really good, but I just didn't really want to do that with the cup. The drink itself was so good and I literally finished this probably in less than three minutes. Like it was so good and I just loved it so so much and I feel like it definitely gave me a boost of energy for the rest of the day, but it was so 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 good. Like five out of five. Highly recommend. Their coffee that they put in this latte, which you can get it hot or iced. I did get it iced. I feel like everybody gets it iced, but I would definitely be intrigued to try it hot. I'm not really a really like hot coffee person though. The taste of the actual coffee itself was so good. Like, I was shocked at how good it was. And then it was just the right amount of sweet. It wasn't too overpowering and you still had that bold coffee flavor from their coffee beans and it was so good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I would drink 10 of those. I wish that this was like a Dunkin' Donuts Starbucks sort of thing because I would be going there every day and getting this pink latte. So if you guys go there, it lives up to the hype because that was another thing. I was so worried that I was going to be really hyped up for this drink and it was just going to be like like the cold brew and just kind of be like, meh, like, okay. But no, this pink latte was so good. Then we did order some food items. Um, I did get just the classic standard margarita pizza. This was really good. This came out quick too. It was fresh. It was really good ingredients. The sauce was amazing. The mozzarella was amazing. It tasted so good. I have a lot of margarita pizzas typically when I go to like wineries or when I go to just like little like nooks and crannies. I always feel like a margarita pizza, you can't really go wrong. They're so simple, but this one tasted so fresh. I love the sauce and it just tasted really, really good. This is again something that I would probably order and it's great to share with somebody. It's just the right amount of food and I love the cutting board that it was served on and how it had a uh, logo kind of branded into the cutting board. It was very pleasing, very simple, but this is really good, really fresh, really nice ingredients. Um, again, I would probably give this one a five out of five. You can't really mess up a margarita pizza, but the ingredients were so fresh that it just tasted really, really good. Then I also got the chicken wrap, which I didn't really read everything that came in the chicken wrap. I was debating between the chicken wrap and then the spicy chicken sandwich, but the chicken sandwich was just like spicy mayo and pickles on a brioche bun, and I just didn't feel like that was what I was in the mood for when I got there, so I did order just the chicken wrap. It's a little bizarre. It's um, chicken, lettuce, uh, tomato, corn, and cornbread croutons, which are basically just really like, they're like shaped like croutons, but they're not crunchy. It's soft like cornbread. Like they probably just cut up cornbread. Very bizarre. Uh, the ratio for this I think was a little bit off. It was a lot of lettuce and um, like extra fillings. There really wasn't any chicken in it. It was very, very little amount of chicken. So the ratio was kind of off, but it was good for what it was. I'd probably give it like four out of five. It was good. I don't think it was anything crazy. 
um, and that did take a while to come out. The chicken was really hot though and really fresh. It was very tender, very soft, really good breading on it. I really like the chicken. So I think next time we go back, I really want to try the chicken and waffles. So again, I probably give that one a four out of five, but I don't think I would necessarily order it again. So with that being said, I did pick up some merchandise. So I wanted to do a little haul and show you guys what I picked up while you're there. They do give you the chance to get merch. It's up at the register. They have like a little menu and you can order from there and then it's brought to your table with your food or before your food but it came in this you know little brown paper bag and they stamped it with the 27 club I think it's really cool I'm definitely gonna cut that out I like how it looks the big thing that I got was this hoodie which came in this plastic bag which again has the 27 club on the plastic little baggie here oh my god this is huge for a small i'm so happy that i got a small because they were actually sold out of mediums so this is put out by independent trading company as well has a really nice fabric label on it again i did get a size small it um has their little like logo on the front in a very very pastel pink it's almost white but it says the 27 club and it's the skull with the little coffee for the nose and then on the back, it's that classic sort of font, and I just had to get it, but it says, love me like you love coffee. And I feel like I finally am at the point in my life, and I drink enough coffee that I can wear something that says I like coffee on it. So this was the main reason why I got it was for this. I wish that this was on the front and then maybe a bigger skull was on the back. It's actually stamped on the inside as well with the 27 club and an S for size small. Then I asked her at the register if they had the enamel pin set that was advertised online it, because it wasn't on the menu and she said yes, but she... I got the button set, so I don't think that they had the enamel pin set. She just assumed that I was talking about the button set, but it's okay. They're cute, I guess. I'll put them on something, but um, this is the packaging again. Very cute pink. I love it. It's got the logo all over one, and then this one says local... I love the like quotes that they have local coffee dealer and then this one says potheads welcome and it's a coffee pot then I also got dime bag which was kind of fun so it's 27 club dime bag and on the back it says dime bag noun a packet containing an amount of illegal and then it says drugs but it's crossed out and it says stickers it's just a bunch of really tiny stickers that kind of have like similar things on them. It says local coffee dealer. MGK wearing the hat because of the hair sticking out. Potheads welcome with pink inside of the coffee pot. Local coffee dealer. Sleep when you're dead. This was another uh, common phrase that they had on things. A little pizza on the like um little like paddle serving board logo what it says on the wall above the little cubicles i don't know which drink this is but it looks like it has like a um little like energy boost or something it looks like there's a lemon or something there so maybe this is a lemonade and maybe you're actually supposed to put that in the drink or maybe you take that before and then this is like your chaser or something um this is probably actually a cocktail but I, I didn't order any of the cocktails. They're pink smoothie. I don't know which one this was, but a lot of people were ordering the pink smoothie. My personal favorite for obvious reasons, but they have the pink latte. 11 stickers. So honestly, not that bad because typically a sticker is like three to five dollars. So you get 11 of them for ten dollars. Lastly, we have a very classic keychain. This was literally four dollars. This is like the cheapest thing that you could buy. So if you guys want something, you can get a keychain, which I think is pretty cool. And it just has their logo on it. It's not on both sides, it's just one side, but. I thought this was pretty freaking sick. That is everything that I bought. Yeah, let me know if you guys have ever visited the 27 Club or if you guys plan on going and what some of your favorite food items are. I hope that you guys like this video and maybe I will vlog again the next time I go and give you guys a little bit more of a taste test. I really wanted to film more inside but the music was super loud that it was merely impossible. So I hope that you guys did like what footage I was able to get. But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you again very, very soon.
Peace out, Girl Scouts.